hello welcome to my channel um it has been a while since i've last filmed anything or posted anything on this channel i believe the last video that i posted was cx's full-length album <laughs> and they haven't had a full-length album in like two years so it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while um but yeah so i'm maybe back i don't know i had this inspiration when i was opening up my 80s seasons gradings and this is the planner or i guess they called it the agenda what i'm planning to do is um memory keep memory keep journal for all the k-pop comebacks for 2024 and it is this video is for january but it's february when i'm filming this anyway doesn't matter <laughs> So yeah, so this is it. This is the planner. This is the agenda that came into came in HTS's season greetings. I personally will not be unboxing that because you probably can't even find it anymore. And also, um, there's been there's there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of them online. Um, before I show this agenda, I'm actually gonna bring in my Monsta X one. Yeah, so here is my Monster X um, season greeting. This is the first half of the year, this planner. I was going to use this because this has more space in it for the weekly, even though I don't think I want to use it as a week, like an official like planner for my weeks. But yeah, so I was trying to debate if I wanted to use this or if I wanted to use um, ATs. Ultimately, I decided to do ATs's planner agenda. Um, so here it is. Uh, let's do a quick flip through. So this is just like the, their planner. There's that. And then after this is January, but I'm going to be flipping to February. So you can see it's blank and there's a whole bunch of it. It's just the months. And then after the months, we go on the weeks like this is i really like this layout but i guess how many pages of this hs gave us give us 26 pages i think let's double check 11. okay so there's essentially 12 pages because this is one page each and there's that's only if you're counting that's only 24 weeks <laughs> 24 weeks out of um 56 i believe and then after that there are like grid pages but there are only there are only six pages of grid like AT is really sad we know you're not gonna use the planner we're gonna give you the calendar and we're gonna give you some weeks but we're not gonna give you we're not gonna waste paper here <laughs> because after this these is this is essentially just like a photo book of this is essentially just like the rest of this is just a photo book and they're like we know you're not going to use this planner so we're not going to waste any actual paper on there and that's also the reason why i was debating whether i was going to use this or monster x one yeah so this is january um the monthly spread i do have some sticky notes on there so what I have here, I have these stickers. These are all old stickers and I don't know, well, GP Studio, I'm pretty sure they're, <laughs> they're no longer, they're, no, they're not a store anymore. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be using some of these. These are all old. Um, what I think I'm gonna be doing is, I'm not gonna be talking through this. And yeah, I think I'll just do like a voiceover and then I'll come back at the end and we can talk then.
So I'm just showing you the pen that I was using. It's not my favorite pen anymore because I think I haven't used it in a while and it dried up. But yeah, I have too many pens so I don't need to buy another one of those. Now moving on to the actual like, I guess back planning, memory planning, memory keeping for the month of January. Um, this is me showing that I was listening to a Itzy's album. Well, actually, I was just listening to a January playlist. Um, so, moving on to Itzy's album, Born to Be. I really like the album. I'm kind of sad that Leah wasn't there, as most Mitzi knows, but it was still a pretty solid album. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the six million title tracks that they had, and as well as the solo songs. I think my favorite solo song would be Yeji's and then Ryujin's and yeah and then my favorite actual song from them is I think Mr. Vampire or Born to Be um I know both of those had a music video but they're great this whole album's great okay now moving on to this next thing I wanted to note down this is one year since Mont Sax's last um in quotation marks full-length album and I'm so sad because they haven't released, well, they can't release a full album, like another album. They won't be releasing anything until next year. <laughs> but basically, um, if you don't know, Monster X, four out of the six members of Monster X are in the military and I'm still kind of salty that Minhyuk decided to enlist a month before Shona came back. I wish enlisted afterwards with maybe Kian, but it is what it is and yeah this is the last album I wish I wish they had an album with Shoni but that's that's fine it can come next year <laughs> and then this is me realizing that I forgot that Rise had a comeback on the fifth and I think it's just it's not my favorite song they're, they totally killed it they're they're up in the charts Rise I think they're still in the charts but it's not my favorite song. Rise is still going to be one of those groups that I'm going to keep my eyes on because I enjoy their personalities and their music is pretty good. I mean, I wasn't really a big fan of this comeback, as I mentioned, but overall, it is what it is. And yeah. And then... <laughs> the, that's an even sticker that I was having a lot of issues with. That even Sicker and I are not friends. <laughs> but now moving on to NMIX's comeback. I'm not even going to mention, like, I don't, like, their their album name's way too long. But I really enjoyed NMIX's comeback. I've actually really enjoyed NMIX's comeback, but I just haven't been buying their, al like, their albums. Just because, I don't know, it's always so weird. Like, their album packaging... Not my vibe. And MX is not one of those groups that are my... Like, I will buy their albums no matter what. But this album, overall, is really good. And I don't, I don't know. My favorite song from this album is Run For Roses. Um, I know they they played, it, played that in a, I think, fan meet. But I'm not a huge... And Mix fan, so I don't really. Remember. When I first heard it, though, so good, and I'm so happy for it. And I hope you check it out. And then on to this next side, on the 19th, it was it's his first and only win for Born to Be. I was kind of sad about it, but I'm really happy that they won because I don't know, like. It's a great album, and I don't know why everybody is hating on the album when it's so good. And they won in Music Bank, I think? Yeah, that's a Friday. My, my monthly views on my actual personal planner is um, a Monday to Sunday instead of a Sunday to Saturday view, and it's been tripping me up because I keep thinking... Saturdays is a Friday's there, but it's not. <laughs> okay, that's neither here or there. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the even comeback. Oh my goodness, this comeback. I love this comeback. 
I am so happy that I am so happy with this comeback. I love it. It's on repeat all the time. I am I sad that even is a temporary group. Yes, and I'm hoping Jellyfish Entertainment um, buys all of the non. Actually, they're all of them are not from Jellyfish, but I hope Jellyfish um, takes even like the contracts of all the members and pays for it and then keeps them as a group because they're an amazing group and I love all their voices together and it's so so sad um and my favorite I would say my favorite title track um I like their title track ugly but I think I still prefer um trouble over ugly um but either way this comeback was great and you guys should go listen to it. <laughs> and moving on to the next comeback. Um, it's CIX's comeback. I'm actually planning on making a um, journaling video with this album. Um, if most of you know, don't know, most of you probably don't know. But CIX is, I would say, probably like one of my old groups with Monsex. And I wish, I wish C9 just gave them more comebacks more songs and yeah <laughs> i don't i honestly i have no I, I don't know what else to say i'll probably say it on that um journaling video i'm hoping maybe i'll film the this coming weekend for me and yeah I, th there's nothing else i can say about this it's a great album i think it's zero or one album i can't remember the packaging it's like very magazine style not my favorite i'll oh yeah it's there it goes your one come back and that's that's it that's all i'm gonna say about it i'll talk more about it on that journaling video hopefully <laughs> hopefully that comes out but this next thing that i'm gonna be doing is i'm noting down Weekly's pre-release song Stranger and I actually really really love the song and I, I just wanted to cry when I listened to it I think that's that was the kind of the point of the song it's kind of, it's their journey as Weekly um at least you know what their new management within IST seems like they actually care about them and you <laughs> and i'm excited for their comeback hopefully it's coming up and hopefully next time we'll give them a win hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed and then on the 26th i am noting down that mx got their win which is well deserved i think this is their second win since i actually don't know when their last win was but Everybody was so happy on light and I'm so happy for them. I am kind of sort of sad about it as well because I don't know. I like I'm a bigger Ipsy fan than I am Enix, but also it's like they're both winning, so I'm so happy. And then it makes the second win. And again, I am happy for the girls. I while I am sad that they didn't win. Um, I mean, while I am sad Itzy didn't win, um, I don't even think that they were they were up against each other for Inkigayo. I think I have to think about this. But yeah, I'm so happy for them. And you should check out their album. Now on to this last part. Even... Yeah. Even one another another win one another for another day so that's why i just put that there right away um i was this was another one of those um wins that i was kind of like bittersweet about it because i am i do love even but also at the same time i wish they were also up against itsy and itsy barely like oh i'm so sad 
and happy at the same time. But you know what? Even winning is a win for everybody. <laughs> and I'm so happy. You know, I think everyone was crying. And, yeah. It was in show of champion. And then that's pretty much it for the whole month. And now that I'm, I'm going to go to the sidebar. Um, the top part is are the albums that I got for January. I surprisingly did not get a lot of albums for January, but I got a, a lot of albums for 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 February. <laughs> yeah. And then this is just me grabbing some stickers to note each album that I got. I think. I have a planner beside me. I don't know why. I'm trying to... I, I don't remember. I know I got CIX's album, but I, I don't remember what the other ones I got. Oh, yeah. So, I got Vix's album, CIX, and Even's album. Um, the Vix album is pretty old, the Continuum. But that was one of my top albums for 2023. That's why I bought it. I finally bought it. I'm not a really huge Vic stan, and but I've been enjoying their music, listening to their music. Maybe I'll get other their other albums. So other than that, I yeah, I've, I'm just I'm a casual listener of Vix, and then CIX and as well as Even's album. Yes, I don't know why I said it so weirdly like Even's album, and I think. Pretty much it. I don't remember. Oh, I'm adding a sticker. To just as another decoration. So here is um, the finished product, I think. Um, hopefully I don't add any, more, any other things in here. But anyway. So uh, there are a few things that I added off camera. Just because I know this little writing situation here I needed to actually think about what I was what I wanted to write down like a short form whatever anyway so yeah so basically here I just wrote down noted down that build up this <laughs> survival show started this this month actually on the 26th um, and I'm not really sad we're making it hard for global audiences. You either catch it live or you have to find a way to watch it. Um, I am watching it. I am watching it. So there's that because a few of those people were from Boys Planet. And I'm a big, huge fan of, I watch Boys Planet. Um, and yeah, I'm rooting for them for the most part. And then here, I just noted down that IST opened... Um, Oh yeah, they're the ones that opened it. They created a global channel for weekly. It they opened it on the twenty fourth, or yeah, yeah, it was twenty fourth, and there's no space there because it's CIX's comeback date. Anyway, and I just hope they post regular content, and or put English subtitles on weekly's content on their regular channel. But yeah, so yeah, that was. What I wrote down there and added a little bit of <laughs> washi tape. If you are any, if you are familiar with the planner community, usually that means something happened for a couple of days. But in this instance, I it just it was just looking like it was empty, so I added in for decoration. And I think the stars on here are gold. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's gold. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm looking at it in person. I'm just like, mm, I think I made the wrong choice, but either way, whatever. So this is, this is it. <laughs> if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully I make regular contact again, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that is it. Bye.